into it. Um, yeah, I can just start. My goal was decided for a year, abstinence for a year. But I'm in a relationship, and abstinence wasn't so much what I was going for. I'm trying to not see. Me. So it was like I got married, at least 100% committed to a relationship. Boom. So it wasn't so much abstinence. It was like, I don't want to stop fornicating. So I'm 42 days into doing none of these things. And I'm going to just say what I think. It is definitely real, a real difference. Everybody should try it. Like, I've been drinking and smoking nonstop since like what, 16, 17. But just maybe some slight breaks here and there. Like, you know, if you start smoking, it's like every weekend you want to go out. Every weekend you're trying to smoke. When you start drinking, it's like every weekend you're trying to drink. So if you think about it, it only gets worse. So by the time you like, I'll let you drink and smoke and down there multiple times a week, where you like middle of the week. Then, once you like 25, 26, now you going out, you know what I'm saying? You got alcohol, you got a bar at home, you might have a little drink after work, you can have enough money to smoke weed every day after work. You really never spend that much time being, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't hang out. I just hung out with my uncle yesterday. That was our first time hanging out, not smoking. Because we always smoking. You always going to link with a person that's always going to be smoking, that's always going to be drinking. So, you know what I'm saying? You really probably been in a haze for so much time and not even, haven't even noticed it. You know what I'm saying? So, back to the point. I can 100% say I feel more clear headed, less distracted. You know what I'm saying? I think my face look a little healthier. You know what I'm saying? I feel healthier. Um, and I would just say the focus is the best part. Like, knowing where my keys are, you know what I'm saying, knowing my wallet is, being able to talk. Like, I feel like you high, you know, like, anxious about how to speak, and, like, don't know how to, like, like, not necessarily spit game, but hold a nice conversation. And then you feel like you got to drink to be smooth and to, like, talk well, you know what I'm saying? And being sober, I can say I'm confidently over those things. Like, I feel good when I'm talking. I know when the conversation is over. I know when the right thing is being said and the bad thing is being said. I can acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? I've been on my goals more, being more productive. You know what I'm saying? I do less of the, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I actually do it. You know what I'm saying? And I would say that's also with the not masturbating and, like, not chasing sex so much. Because if you're not really committed to one person or what's the word I'm looking for, you're not committed to not fornicating, it's always a goal. Like, each of these things, like drinking, smoking, sex, is always a goal. Like, you're always thinking about the next girl or the next guy you're going to get with. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, trying to say the you got to think about the next time you going out to have a drink, the next time like, I'm going to go home and smoke this blunt. You know what I'm saying? It's always a constant in your brain. So taking those things out, you're really able to see what the priorities are. Like, like what do you really want to do? Like, if all you're doing is working and waiting until the weekend, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like five years go by and you haven't really thought about the bigger picture. So I would say you're not chasing drinking, not chasing smoking, not chasing sex. Definitely see the bigger picture more clearly. You know what I'm saying? And I think retaining your sexual energy is a real thing. So when you just masturbating all the time or uh, you know, chasing sex three, four times a week, I think you are like exhausting yourself and losing energy. And the thing when you drink heavy on Friday you cover on Saturday morning. You only got a little bit of the day on Saturday, then you back to drink it Saturday night, recovering on Sunday morning. And you only got a little bit of Sunday, now you right back to work. You know what I'm saying? So your time is all messed up when you own those things all the time. So I would say I'm more aware of my time, things that I want to do, things that I can do. Day 42, I'll make another video later on as I go on. I don't want to make this too long. So yeah, 
highly recommend it. You know what I'm saying? I would say a lot of us probably have a drinking problem and we just think it's cool because we're young. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us have like a addiction to smoking. Addiction might be too strong of a word, but it's like a bad habit. Like you just constantly looking to do it. And that's something that you should try to get away from. You know what I'm saying? It's people who still smoke, but they just reduce the amount. Suggest that. You know what I'm saying? If you drink, try to drink every other week. Get out of try. Just prioritize something better for one or two weekends out to you. You know, but I ain't gonna go on too long. Day 42. Catch me again at the early. I'm about to play the game. You guys hear me? Good to go.